G'day, Phil here. I'm wanting to just show you a bit of nursing maths. Um, I'm not a nurse, I'm a physicist. Uh, it seems to be better if you're going to be learning maths, you learn from people that are um, up there further in that area, um, not necessarily in the broad spectrum where you're at, but in the finer areas. Because uh, there were some things with the maths that I thought could be improved. Okay, firstly, with nursing maths, let's look at the units. Units are critical, okay? Because when you are working with any materials, you need to know exactly what the units are in. Now, if people are going to say, oh, I've got one milliliter, or I've got one kilogram, or one uh, milligram, or one bunch of bananas, uh, or one monkey, okay? You have to know what it is because if you do the wrong mix with whatever it is, um, people get hurt. So all of these, you always have to say exactly what it is. Uh, people don't want to know if it's a, a kilo when you're carrying a monkey because it's a monkey. You need to be able to tell whether it's a milliliter, milligram, uh, so that it all makes sense and you'll find later on when you actually go through the formulas you can put in the, the uh, units and you can actually do maths with just the units to find out if your end answer is correct okay to find out if your formula that you're using is correct okay so let's move on from there now the basic ones that you're going to be using is milli which is one thousandth of whatever base unit. You're going to be using micro. Now, it's interesting that they're using MC for micro. Okay, if I was doing it in uh, uh, for grams, let's say microgram, that's one millionth of a gram. Okay, in normal science we would write that as such. People seem to have trouble finding that on the keyboards. Okay, that's a Greek symbol. Um, we use it all the time for micro. So sometimes people from other fields will get confused when they see MCG. Uh, and they think, oh great, we're going to the cricket. Okay, <clears throat> now other units Omega. Now, the reason why you need to be very careful. Here we've got three different uses of M's. Milli, where it's just an M on its own. Micro. And Mega. Now, Mega is one million times. Whatever the base unit is. So, a megalitre is a million litres. Okay, just as, that should be lowercase, a kilo equals a thousand times. So a kilometre. So one kilometre equals one thousand metres. Okay, used in everyday life. You don't use the mega so much because there's not a great deal that we do in our daily living which involves large values like that. But in nursing, you're particularly going to be using micro and milli, uh, less of the kilo, certainly not likely to be using the mega. Okay. Now, just to bring this into perspective a bit, when people see a can of Coke, there's your can of Coke. Okay, it's a 375 milliliter. So 375 uh, milliliter. That means that is 375 times the unit of the milliliter. Okay, now there's a thousand milliliters in a liter. So milli, one thousandth of. So it's 375 
times 1,000 dot. Okay, so 375 times 1,000th. Okay, which is the same as writing 375 over 1,000. Okay, so this is converting from milliliters down to liters. Okay, equals 0 0.375 liters, always with the unit afterwards. So, now that makes sense to people because they've seen the litre containers, they know reasonably how big those are. They see the can of coke, they know how, how big those are. So, using a bit of common sense, if people are talking to you about 500 millilitres, uh, that's half a litre. Okay, so a bag of saline, that's 500 mils. You're expecting to find something half a litre, which is about what you'd be carrying on your push bike as your, your hydration as you ride. Okay, so obviously a thousand millilitres will be a litre. Okay, so let's stop it at that point just so that you can go back, listen to this a couple of times and start getting this through your mind. Alright, I'll follow up with a different uh, series.